Hey YouTube, so I have quite a lot of behind the scenes catching up to do, so I'm going to jump straight into it and take you on more adventures with my family, Planet Earth style, kind of. And where there's water, there is life. <laughs> That's like man-made. The, the crocodiles have traveled many miles and are found okay, do you need much more than that? Kicking things off with something just like this. If you watch the behind the scenes for Rockabye, then you might know that back in December last year, before we found the Rockabye location, we actually went to this location, but at that time of year, the entrance was underwater, so we couldn't get to it. Back in May, I saw a friend post a picture of the spot just before I headed to Zambia again, and he said it was all clear, so I was super excited about being able to shoot there. It's actually a slimes dam, the tailings from a nearby copper mine, aka the Kitwe Grand Canyon, haha. <laughs> I first and last visited it when I was about 13 with my sister and always remembered it being the surreal spot in the middle of nowhere that you had to get through dense bush and across a stream to get to. We asked my dad when he last visited and he said when he was about 26 or so, so not that long ago. <laughs> my mum had never visited it before, so it was a little family adventure. It looks like solid rock, but it's actually really fine sand that crumbles easily if you stand in the wrong spots. So it was quite daunting climbing up it for that silhouetted shot. I actually climbed a different spot initially, but once I got up there, I was like, nope, not happening. My brother and my dad put together a homemade dolly and track for those sliding shots, which I thought worked out really well. Turned out to be a fun shoot, and we got lucky with that sunset too. Next up was Hey DJ. Hashtag entertainment were amazing and let us film in their club in Kitwe, which is awesome. It has this sweet LED dance floor and colorful light displays on the walls too that made amazing backdrops. We managed to sneak in on a Friday night before things got cray cray and do whatever we liked. So I actually sat on the edge of the DJ booth for the one shot, you know, keeping it casual. Some of the shots were taken from the DJ's perspective, which I thought was a nice touch considering the lyrics and all. Fun fact, the outfits worn in something just like this and Hey DJ were both designed by a Zambian designer. Go check out Mangishi Doll, all super cute stuff. On to Menananamore. Yeah, this is what midwinter in South Africa can look like. Suck it, Northern Hemisphere. No, but seriously, we got pretty lucky with this shoot. I feel like I always get lucky, actually. I knew I wanted to shoot the song at this location. It just had that colorful, vibey, happy feel to it. I've been saving this location. If you watch my previous behind the scenes, you may have picked up on that. What I didn't notice when we were last there was the awesome platform I got to use as a stage. Again, you know, stage on a beach, keeping it casual. Also, dancing around in sand is not a vibe. It's a lot harder than you'd think. Hey guys, so we've just finished filming a video for Wild Thoughts and it's a pretty special location taking advantage of nature and uh, other people's inconvenience, I guess. We're on Chapman's Peak, which is this crazy uh, highway usually. Not highway, yeah? It's like a mountain pass. Um, and it's closed because there was some serious rock fall recently. That's Chapman's Peak, if you can see it. It's an eagle up there. It's a really moody day, it's actually freezing, but it meant that we got the whole road to ourselves, which is usually a really, really busy road. So it's been pretty awesome. We drove around all morning actually, trying to find some other locations too for another video. Um, and things weren't looking very um, good for us. But then we came up here and it all got better. So. Yeah, this looks like it's going to turn out pretty well, but we'll see, I guess. So that kind of said it all, but a friend had been up Chapman's Peak about a week before we wanted to do the shoot and shared a little post on Instagram about it being closed and we thought it could be really cool to give it a try. At first it was a little weird being up there all alone and I kept checking to see that there really weren't any cars coming, but there were only really a handful of people hiking or skateboarding that came by. It was actually raining in between takes for most of the shoot, so I think the gloomy weather worked in our favor and not many people were willing to venture outdoors. Really love how this one turned out in the end. It's actually one of my favorites I've ever done. Now for To You. I thought the melody of this track was pretty, but I didn't feel it was a big performance piece, so we decided to do something more laid back and moody with it. Again, filmed on a drizzly winter's day in Cape Town, we found a pretty spot at Hurt Constantia, which is the oldest wine estate in South Africa. When we scout for locations, we try to find spots that look good and aren't too busy, but at the same time, we don't want to be completely alone in the middle of nowhere. So this spot ticked all of the boxes, and the wintry colors worked well with my floofy jacket too. Hey, look, it's that floofy jacket again. 
it was sort of almost springtime when we shot this one, so still a little chilly. This was filmed at the exact same location in Cape Town as my Dark Valentine's video, just facing the opposite wall. The graffiti was totally there by chance, we weren't expecting it, but I love how much it added to this video. I've never filmed so many shots that were actually cut afterwards. I thought it would be fun to do little cutaways of me dancing and being silly, running up to the camera and jumping off the wall, but didn't like them in the final. Sometimes things just don't work, but I guess that makes the behind the scenes videos more interesting, so there. Wow, I really did have a lot of catching up to do. Three more to go. Loved What About Us by Pink when I heard it, or as we ended up calling it, What About Butts. A lot of butt flashing was cut out of this video, which I won't be sharing. I was back in Zambia for this one and filmed on a friend's farm. I won't lie, I was a little concerned about the crocodiles because of a big sign on the fence, but I think we were pretty safe. Loved the colors and the little forest we got to play with for this one. I was planning on shooting down a dirt road, but think we made the right choices in the end. Galamukani eh eh eh. I've wanted to start covering African music for a while now, but just haven't been able to get around to it. I heard this particular track a year ago at a festival when James Sakala actually performed it just before me, and he totally rocked it. I really love performing it, actually. It's such a great song. Once again, we'd spotted a potential future location at a previous shoot, and so we headed back to the slime stem that we filmed something just like this at. But this was shot before you even get to that section. This was around the area my mom thought there would be crocodiles at. Haha. <laughs> it was so windy, as we all know my cray hair and wind are not friends, but we made it work. The sand was fun to stomp around in at least. <laughs> Finally, Bottle of Loneliness, another great Zambian artist I was super excited to cover. This track is originally by El Makuka, featuring Kayla Jacobs. It was so much fun to learn to play. We shot this at the same location on the same day as What About Us, just in the stream that was running next to me in that shoot. It was pretty cold, I won't lie, and it was a little slippery too, so I sent my brother in to try it out before me. Haha. <laughs> The hardest part about this one was not being able to hear the music over the water. I actually had to cut the intro shorter because in every take I missed it and had this confused thinking face going on because I was concentrating so hard. Anyway, I wasn't planning on getting wetter than up to my ankles, but for the final shot of the day, I was crouching and then fell on my butt. And so we decided we may as well try one take like that while I was down there and soaked already. Ended up using it though, sweet business. So that's the last few videos caught up on. I'll be filming the next one pretty soon, which will be released before the end of the month. So watch this space. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support. You guys are the best.